He's coming through into the Sports and Aquatic Centre. So the United States are the world record holders here in the women's 4x1 medley relay. Setting that mark in Budapest, November 2020. The final women's event of the week, the 4x100 metre medley relay final. In lane A, Hang, Hang, Yang and Lu, People's Republic of China. China will swim from eight. Peng Zhu Wei swimming the backstroke like we saw her in the 200. And Lu in lane will one, swim freestyle. Men Yu, Bu Ne, Gaspar Delo, Mo Lu, Team France. France in one. Made to leave, but lead them off with the backstroke. Lula to bring them home in the free. In seven, Toussaint, Shelton, DeWard, Steenbergen, Team Netherlands. That's an in-time, in form team for the Netherlands. Kira Toussaint, Schutten, the breaststroke medalist. Steenbergen at the end. Akashi, Aoki, Soma, and Igarashi. Team Japan! Team Japan, lane two here with a qualifying time, 3.52.92. Akashi to lead them away. In six, Rosebaugh, Hansen, Hansen and Coleman. Team Sweden! Another strong quartet. Sweden, they almost surprised last night in the sprint medley relay. In three, Will, Pickram, McNeil, and Ruck Team Canada! Strength across all strokes for the Canadians. Lane three. Ready, McNeil. In lane five, McEwen, Strauss, McKeon, Harris, Team Australia! What a team. Star studded. Australian team, the women have been so hard to beat in these relays. Can they do it again? And in four, Kersan, King, Huss, and Douglas, United States of America. Oh, they are big names here. Kersan to swim the backstroke, Lily King. Tory Husk, King and Husk both beaten for golds tonight. But they have claimed their share here in Melbourne, and Kate Douglas has as well to swing the freestyle. So the first of our relay finals tonight, the women's 4x100 medley, the United States in four, Australia in five. This is going to be tough for the Australian women. McEwen's going to have to get them out to a lead. The backstroke and the breaststroke, really important here. She'll be lining up against Kurz, and we just saw them go 1-2 in the 200. We just saw them on the podium together. Number three, the Canadians, Warm giving them an excellent start here. Yeah, McEwen in there, swinging that gold cap of Australia. She's the first to surface. She doesn't quite have the underwater ability of some of her other competitors, but she's really strong on the second 50, so they turn their underwater record pace. That's the relay world record, not the individual mark. Up there, that's Wheel from Canada. The Canadian women, they do have a strong team on paper if they can get out to an early lead. McNeil will swim butterfly for the United States. Claire Curzon, she's backing up after a 200 meter distance and looks a little bit tired in there. So it's Canada in front, Australia moving into second. This is a handy lead though for Canada after the first leap as they get now to the first of the changeovers, the breaststroke. In now goes Pickram for Canada, Strosh of Australia, Lily King of United States and Sophie Hansen, Sweden. Oh, that's really changed things, that lead off from Will. Look at the lead now, 0.4 over Australia. Australia's weakest leg is this breaststroke with Jenna Strosh. You see Lily King already moving up to challenge Strosh and Pickering from Canada. 
So we'll see if Pickram, not a, not a traditional breaststroker, she normally focuses on the IM events. They touch, King's already touched her head, but she has front-ended this, so she's gonna need to hang tight, Lily King, through the back after this race. It's been brilliant so far by King. The United States right there on level terms with Canada, and Australia still there in the mix as well, as they moved out through the 175 in the breaststroke butterfly and freestyle to come and this is a three-way go canada and the united states and australia oh this is shaping up to be a beauty lily king she didn't pull away on that back end pickram swimming really well the united states they do have a lead husk is in the water now but for canada it's the world record breaker from earlier tonight megan mcneil in that red suit Watch for her underwater, and for Australia, the biggest name of the championships, Emma McKeon swimming the fly. Yes, they're back in third place though, the yellow caps of the Australians. It's the United States in front, and McNeil giving chase there for Canada. They turn still with 50 to swim in this butterfly, and it's Tory Husk of the United States in front, front but Canada and the US, and Australia not going away. Husk is having a great swim, but here come the challengers. Watch for McNeil on this last wall. McCann's put in a few big strokes, and Husk will see if she can hold. She comes back to him. What a split from McKeon. The crowd's getting right behind McKeon. They're in second place now. This is a race on to the finish. The USA, Australia, a quarter of a second separating them. Canada half a second away. It's the United States with Kate Douglas, Meg Harris, Australia, Taylor Ruff, Canada. Yeah, the Australians using Meg Harris on this anchor. So she gets her turn to try and anchor this team to gold, but she's got her work cut out for her. Kate Douglas looks great through the opening 50. I haven't seen her swim 100 freestyle race before. She's the 200 breaststroke champion from this meet for crying out loud. And the United States are using her on the anchor. Canada's gone, it's the United States. The only challenge can come from Australia, I'd suggest. It's the United States, Douglas, Australia, Harris. But the US have kicked away. This is going to be put the glasses down. The United States are going to take this gold medal and a world record, the USA. Gold and a new world mark. Australia silver, Canada the bronze. A world record of 3, 44, 3, 5. World record again in the relay. The United States. They take both medleys here. What a race that is. In front of the Australian crowd, they upset. They love these medley relays, the Americans. They always want to finish the World Championships on top. And that would have tasted sweet here in front of the Australian fans. King, Husk, Curzon and Douglas. They've chopped that up a different way than anybody would have thought. And a big swim from Douglas to hold on to gold. Wilm really threw a spanner in the mix on that opening backstroke leg. The Canadians swimming well above themselves to be competitive. This was it going into the butterfly leg. McKeon jumped in third. We don't watch her swim butterfly individually anymore, but she had the quickest split of the field. By some margin, she outsplits McNeil, the world record holder, by 0.6 of a second. She gave Australia every chance. But Douglas, really reliable swimmer, so versatile, clutch when it counts. She holds off the challenge from the Australian women. And another goal to the United States. It really was a race in three right from the start. The United States in a world record time over Australia and Canada. Now Japan disqualified with the last changeover being a problem. So Japan DQ'd, but it doesn't affect the place placings. Gold to the USA. I tell you what, the loudest team in the stands at the moment over here. I love this team USA. <laughs> Um, congratulations, what a way to finish the meet. Lily, a world record. Hey, I mean, that's how we want to finish it. And obviously you said we've got our awesome, awesome team in the crowd. We would not be here without them. And uh, we love being the loudest here, even if we're in Australia. But the crowd's been great, so it's been an awesome week.
Well, you know what? We've loved having you here, and it's been amazing watching all of you race, not just in the relays, but also individually as well. Uh, Kate, an amazing last finish for you. You know, Team USA has put in amazing performances. I think going home, everyone's going to be happy with the end of the season. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this has just been an amazing week so far. And honestly, we couldn't ask for a better way to finish it. So I think we're all really happy. Love it. And we're obviously broadcasting the US on this world feed. So anything you want to say to your family, your friends, anyone at home? Um, just thank you so much for watching. And we love you guys. And go Team USA. Yes, we love it. Well, I've got a little something for you to finish off your trip down to Melbourne to check for $25,000. A new world record, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Team USA. It's become an expensive exercise, all of these checks for world records. That makes 12, 12 so far, and most of them have come in the relays. Just a, a magnificent performance. Curzon leading them off, Lily King, putting them well and truly in the hunt. Douglas bringing them home. Kate Douglas, she has been sensational here in Melbourne at the World Championships. Tori Husk, of course, was swimming the butterfly leg up against Margaret McNeil and Emma McKeon. 100 metres medley relay, a case of just do it. And that's exactly what the Americans did. The medal ceremony for the women's 4 by 100 meter medley relay. The medals will be presented by World Aquatics Vice President, Miss Zhu Jihong. World Aquatics Second Vice President, Mr. Matthew Dunn. And four-time Olympic champion, Miss Kate Campbell. Winners of the bronze medal, Canada. Ingrid Will, Sydney Pickram, Maggie McNeil, Taylor Rock. Winners of the silver medal, Australia. <laughs> Kaylee McEwen, Jenna George. Emma McKeon, Meg Harris. World champions and winners of the gold medal with a new world record, United States of America. Claire Cozan, Lily King, Tori Husk, Kate Douglas. That American quartet, they've all been regulars on the podium. Lily King for the second time this evening. Claire Curzon as well. And of course, we uh, also saw we also saw well we certainly saw uh, Maggie McNeil up there for Canada. She's uh, almost been living on the podium. Had a wonderful, wonderful world show. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of United States of America.
Melvin, give it up for our medalists. Some very happy American girls. They're probably working out how they're going to spend that $25,000 US when they get home. I'm sure they'll find a way. 37,000 Australian dollars. I'd, I'd be spending it in Melbourne. Spend it in Melbourne before you go home. Good for the Australian economy. Bit of Christmas shopping on Burke Street Mall. Might be spent tonight, actually. So I mentioned that uh, American quartet. They've all been on the podium so many times. Curzon, King, Husk, Douglas. Always so much depth when it comes to the United States. And this time they set a world record. In fact, overall, we've had 13 world records, or do we call it 14? With uh, the sharing, no, 13. But uh, the United States and Australia sharing a world record. Well, with the men, oh, this is a nice picture here. A guard of honour from the Australian team. The Dolphins, one of their most successful world championships in history, 13 gold medals, 26 overall, second on the medal tally behind the United States. But yes, 13, we'll call it 14 world records. Mm. And, and, and I was wrong tonight, I said uh, 10 races, 10 gold medals, and it turned out there were 11. Don't be too hard on yourself. An easy mistake to make. 11 golds out. Well, I think there's only one event in relay event in Melbourne where there wasn't a world record broken. One, maybe two. I'm, I'm thinking it's one. But if you count the double world record, we're events, back on even. Then, <laughs> then you can say I don't know how many relays there were. About. It's just been amazing, hasn't it? You know, normally at World Championships you get a handful of world records, but we're talking about 13 here. And the fact that they were mostly in the relays, it's, it's hard to put a finger on why that would be the case, apart from the fact that all the teams came here with plenty of depth. They're fast well, swimmers. Someone can do the analysis, but like the world records have been quick. That 24 world, uh, 2014 world champs, things really stepped up a notch. and. Since then, you know, World Short Course has been taken a lot more serious. That was the introduction of the 4x50 relays. So uh, there's no easy answer to that. Um, and, and I would have thought being in this semi-outdoor venue that at 10 o'clock at night, 9.45 at night when they're racing these relays, might be a little bit cold.